in the world of app development efficiency and functionality is the key imagine having to manage a lot of data whether it's list of items user input or dynamic content writing code for each individual item is not only tedious but also impractical hi i'm gorup from nohow academy so as we know applying code on each individual item on a large amount of data will also reduce the consistency and efficiency of an application so how we can deal with that in our flutter flow before moving further let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video in this video we will learn how to use loop actions in our flutter flow we will learn how to use code expression accordingly to manipulate our data we will create three buttons to display our data and implement manipulation like logical actions in our list so first on my home page i have already created a page state variable of type string which is a list and in our list i have added all the fruits here now i want to use loop actions so first in my column i will add a container here and in my container i will add the padding of 20 the width will be infinite and the height will be 500 pixel now in my container i will add a column and then add another column first column will be our scrollable column now we have created our container and container we have two columns now i will create another page state to display our list so i will write display list which will be type string also we will take total which will be of type integer and initial value will be 0 and we will take a current variable of type integer and 0 after clicking confirm we will go to our second column in our container and here i will select the page state display list and i will write the variable name fruit list after clicking on save after that i will add a text widget and the text widget will be fruit list item and confirm now in my column i will add item spacing of 30 and alignment would be left align and i will give it a padding of 20 now i will add another container here in my main column i will add a container the container width will be infinite and height will be 150 pixel or we can take 90 pixel after that we will add a button here the button width will be 100 okay the button with okay i will wrap our button in a row and this will be our display list display list so we have added our button here i will go to action flow i will click on update page state and in my page state i will take the total and the current and our display list whenever our user click on this button i will reset these values before applying our loop action so then i will add loop here in the loop i need to add a condition and our condition will be first our current item our current item is less than page state fruits and number of items so till it is true our below action will run and here 
I will write update page state. I will select display list. I will click add to list and here I will select page state the fruits. Now I need to add index specific index and I will select here our current index because as we know here so our first item will be at index 0 then we will update our page state and map it with the current index in our display list after that we need to increment our current so I will select current and increment it by 1 So let's see our list is visible or not after clicking on this button. So I will click on test here. So as our test session is loaded, you can see in our page state, this is the fruits list. And when I click on display list, all our fruits are visible here, which we displayed with the help of our loop action. Now we did this. Let's say we want to show all the fruits whose first letter starts with A. So I will just go in my row I will duplicate my button here and I will write here start with now in my button action I will just cut this action here in which we are adding our item in the list and I will add a conditional action delete this action and in our this condition I will write code expression now we will take an argument which will be our I will name it fruit and here I will select the value which will be our fruit item at index specific index and it will be our current index now clicking on confirm I will write an action fruit dot starts with and I will open the bracket and in the bracket I will write a in single comma now I will click on check error to check our code expression. So here there is no issue and it has given us the preview of the dot code. Now when I click on confirm means this condition is true. We will update our page state. So I have cut the action. I will simply click on paste and after clicking on the paste I will go down my conditional action. And here I will update the current index so I will click update page state and in the current I will select increment value 1 now let's see if it works or not again I will click on instant reload now when I click on start with I am getting apple and apricot in our list so here our start with code expression is working perfectly now what if I want to reverse the whole list so for that I will just simply click on duplicate button here and instead of display list I will write reverse and in our button action first we need to change the current here here our current will be code expression and here variable will be fruit no it will be items and here the value will be our page state fruits number of items 
and here I will write items minus one and confirm okay it will be type integer I will click on check errors okay so fruits dot length minus one confirm now in our loop here I will select greater than equal to our current should be greater than equal to zero and confirm I will update the page state with the same index current and below I will update the current by minus one here in our current we take the total items minus one times and we started the loop till our item is greater than equal to zero it will add the item in our list and then reduce the index by minus one so it will reverse our whole list so when i click on instant reload here when i click on display list as you can see it is in the forward manner now when i click on reverse list the apricot is on the top and the apple is on the first so it is reversed so we implemented code expressions in our loop actions to display list of items and we didn't did repetitive code for our individual list item to perform these operations the reason why we use loops and code expressions is because loops automate our repetitive tasks like displaying or processing a list of items and code expressions are used to make logical operations easier without writing any different kind of code so in this video we learned how to use loop actions in our flutter field. we learned about code expressions and how we can use it in our actions we implemented a list and applied logical and mathematical operations also thank you for choosing know-how academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning